Caution. Engaging in the repair and or service of propane fuel devices may involve regulations and or requirements specific to local town ordinances and or state statutes. Contact your local government agencies for additional information. Good day. We're going to review the Kohler propane EFI system and how it differs from Kohler gasoline EFI. Let's start by reviewing what's different from a components and maintenance standpoint, starting with the LP regulator, injectors, and cylinder head. The propane regulator is mounted where you would commonly find the fuel pump module on a Kohler EFI gasoline engine. This regulator reduces tank pressure to about 26 psi. Similar to carbureted propane engines, the regulator is pressure compensated for low vacuum changes of the intake manifold. Remember, low vacuum occurs in the intake manifold between the air filter element and the throttle plate. The propane regulator contains a fuel lock-off solenoid. Just like the gasoline EFI, the ECU controls the ground circuit of this solenoid. Control logic is also similar, where the solenoid is grounded and open for a few seconds during key-on, and continuously during cranking and while the engine is running. When the engine is turned off, or if the engine stalls, the ECU opens the ground circuit to close the solenoid and stop fuel flow. The electrical connector of the lock-off is different from the fuel pump module connector and is not interchangeable. Kohler propane EFI fuel injectors are designed specifically for gaseous fuel, commonly referred to as propane vapor service. Internal operation is the same as gasoline injectors, however, externally, several changes can be seen. The injector outlet uses slots instead of holes, the electrical connectors are not interchangeable, and the O-ring seals are different. The overall size and dimensions are also slightly different. Moving to the cylinder head, the valve seat material has been changed to better accommodate wear from carbon deposits common to dry fuel intake systems. Now that we know the component differences, let's look at specific maintenance needs of the LP regulator, the engine oil, and the cylinder head. The LP regulator drain should be serviced every 500 hours or annually, whichever comes first. Significant amounts of drainage and foul smelling debris can indicate contaminated fuel and or excess amounts of liquid propane entering the fuel system. A button style filter integrated into the regulator is recommended for regular replacement, and there is an inline fuel filter located between the regulator and the fuel injectors. Note this inline filter is located in the high pressure line and is at system pressure of about 26 psi. These fuel filters are intended to reduce the risk of fuel-related debris causing faults of the injectors and engine. However, just like with gasoline, fuel-related debris and the resulting problems cannot be prevented entirely by inline filters. Lubrication needs of gaseous-fueled engines are different from that of gasoline engines. Synthetic engine oil that meets the API service classes listed in the owner's manual is recommended. If non-synthetic oil is being used, it must be rated as a low ash oil. LP vapor service engines have a dry intake, meaning there's no liquid fuel coming past the valves that can help reduce carbon deposits. These carbon deposits are typically a normal byproduct of combusted oil originating from crankcase vapors in the breather system or from ring bypass. Combusted synthetic oils typically create less carbon deposits than mineral-based oils. Low ash oils will leave behind less deposits from combusted detergents and or dispersants. Dry fuel engines are more susceptible to oxidation and nitration. Both lead to increased oil viscosity that when neglected can cause severe engine damage if or when the oil solidifies. Note that use of synthetic engine oil does not extend the recommended service intervals. Dry fuel typically results in less piston, ring, and cylinder wear as there is no washdown common to gasoline fuel. The cylinder head seen in the pictures here came from an engine with over 1,200 hours using non-synthetic oil that wasn't low ash rated. Poor valve sealing due to the carbon deposits lowered the compression ratio which resulted in cold starting difficulties. Because of the increased risk of excess carbon deposits, removing combustion deposits is recommended every 500 hours or annually, whichever comes first. If excess deposits are identified, review the type of oil being used and consider trying a different brand that meets oil recommendations. Let's review the Kohler Propane EFI fuel supply system, specifically propane fuel recommendations, the fuel supply tank, and why vapor service is required. 
Kohler EFI propane engines are currently designed for use with vapor service only. This engine is certified to operate on commercial propane per GPA standard 2140. If you have any questions, contact your propane fuel supplier. PropaneCouncil.org defines HD5 motor propane as a high-quality product defined by GPA 2140 that is composed predominantly of propane, which exhibits superior anti knock characteristics in high-output engines when used as an internal combustion fuel. In summary, the Kohler Propane EFI engine is designed to run on propane vapor service using fuel meeting GPA standard 2140. An article from TurfMagazine.com describes the need identified for specialized mower tanks utilizing vapor service. Mower tanks are designed to keep up with the fuel demand of commercial mowers while reducing problems previously associated with liquid service and air-cooled engines. Mower tanks can be identified by a green ring around the top and the use of left-handed male safety couplers. The pressurized fuel supply tank replaces the need for a fuel pump. Note that pressure in the tank can change dramatically with temperature. In addition to being designed specifically for internal vaporization, mower tanks are equipped with internal baffles to reduce the risk of liquid entering the vapor line. In summary, mower tanks utilize vapor service and are designed specifically for applications likely to utilize the Kohler Propane EFI engine. Vapor service is currently required for Kohler propane EFI engines. An article from TurfMagazine.com describes some of the reasons vapor service is currently necessary. Some have attempted to use liquid propane service by utilizing an inline air heated vaporizer. However, the outlet pressure of this vaporizer is only 9 to 12 psi, and the Kohler propane EFI engine requires about 26 psi. Therefore, this vaporizer is not suitable for use with Kohler propane EFI engines. Remember, this engine requires vapor fuel service from a vapor supply tank. In summary, Tank-to-engine vapor service is required for the Kohler EFI propane engine due to the fuel pressure and volume requirements of the fuel system.